District and at the Carroll County 4-H Fair. I'm visiting once again with Casey Bounds. We spoke to Casey live the other day uh, when she was preparing for the show, and today she actually showed Nikki over here, and Nikki did quite well today, is that correct? Yeah, we were in the Champion Challenge, which is where they take the past champions and you show them again. So it's me and other people that have won as well as the year who won this year. And I didn't win, but the kid who won this year won, and I'm good friends with him. Terrific. And Well, I was watching the tail end of it, so to speak, the tail end, and she looked great. Were you happy with how she performed? Yeah, I was. And she performed great throughout the day for you? Well, that was the first time I'd shown her today. Okay. I'm showing her again in a little bit. Okay, so she's got her first round jitters over. She, I would say she came in second of the champion of champions. That's just me saying. <laughs> but I don't know what I'm talking about a whole lot. So she's going to show again for how, how many more times will she show today? Um, it depends on how she does in class and what the judge is looking for. So if she were to win her class, then I would have to take her back in. Um, but it all depends on how she does in classes, how many times I take her out. Okay, so how many different classes are, are there? Well, there's the three different divisions, your lightweights, your medium weights, and your heavyweights. And you, there's three divisions, so you show in your class, and then if you win your class, you take it onto your division. If you win your division, you take it onto the overall. Okay, terrific. So she she's potentially can show two, three more times. Is that correct? Two, three more times. And Nikki, we're going to wish you the best of luck because... Nikki's a little love bug here. Casey, I want to thank you again for your time. Good luck, continued good luck with the rest of the fair. Great, thank, thank, you. thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, give these three exhibitors a big hand if you would please. Three, again, outstanding individuals have obviously done quite a bit of winning and it certainly shows in this lineup. Okay, here I am now in what I like to call the spa area of the 4-H Fair. I'm here today with Sam and his cousin DC, and we've got Gizmo and Lucy, who are both goats. What kind of goats are they again? La Mancha. They're La Mancha goats, La Mancha goats, and they're being shown, and they're very cute and they're very soft because they've just had a wonderful bath, um, and they're getting ready. Are they getting ready to be shown again today, Sam? Uh, no, Wednesday. They'll be shown on Wednesday, so they're prepping. These are their prep days for this. Sam, tell me, how long have you been a part of the 4-H system? I've been a part of the 4-H system for nine years. For nine years. You're 15 years old? Okay, terrific. Tell me, do you just show goats? Yes, that's, that's all I show. You like, and you like the goats the best. Okay. How many go different goats are you showing this year? Uh, just, like, how many is at the fair now? Yeah. Uh, six. You have, you have six different goats. Yeah. He's got a lot of goats. To show. And what, DC, what about you? How old are you? Uh, Eleven. 11 and um, how many goats are you showing zero <laughs> zero you're not showing you you're he I, I show he shows cows but he's here helping his cousin out today and so tell me a little bit about the spa type thing that you're gonna that you do for gizmo to keep to keep gizmo nice and clean and prepped uh well we use shampoo and just put it on uh, we'll get them wet first and put the shampoo on them and scrub them down and do they get blown dry or anything like I do when I go to the salon no nah, we just take a towel and wipe them down just a towel and wipe them down well that's because they've got natural beauty and do they like the water no they don't like the water okay so what we're gonna do that we're gonna we're gonna see how much gizmo doesn't like the water now so can you show us that what how your bathing procedures are uh. Sure. Okay, that's the right answer. Are you going to help DC? Okay, we've got Sam and his faithful helper, DC, over here. And Gizmo is going to get a second bath today for us, and then we'll talk to you after that. All right. Okay. <laughs> So now Gizmo's nice and clean. Gizmo's just gonna get dried and fluffed up. Come on in, Mom. 
It's going to get dried and fluffed up, and the spa day is over. Now, Gizmo will get washed every day before the before showing? Uh, no, we just usually do it the day before the day. The day, be the day before showing. Okay, well, Sam, DC, thank you very much for your time. Good luck, and be sure, we're going to be down here to watch you tomorrow, too. In the ring, we have Class 5, Junior Fitting and Showing, Break 2, Hadley Abbott, Chloe Bowman, Colleen Haynes, Alicia Allison, oh sorry, Allison Kidwell. Ladies and gentlemen, give these four young ladies a big hand. Four really good exhibitors, I, novices, first time been in the ring with these goats, is my understanding. They've done a really nice job. Young lady with the dark red goat wins very nicely for me. She does a really good job of getting feet set, and we talked a little bit about, need to get them set all the time. And she, she acknowledged that and said, yeah, I know. So, excellent job for all of you, congratulations. Give these three individuals a nice round of applause. Um, obviously, this is the cream of the crop. This is the champion challenge. Um, the gentleman standing at the front of the line um, won his um, senior showmanship class today and then um, became the overall showman. And then the um, other two individuals standing behind him um, have previously won overall showmanship, which has brought them to this point. Three excellent showmen in their own right. Obviously, their animals are well presented. They do a great job presenting them, getting them set up. Um, I tried to work them as hard as I could to get them to stumble or to kind of have a little mess up or something so that I could uh, really come up with a decision to divide them because they're all very, very equally um, capable in their abilities to show their animals, their knowledge of their animals, um, their ability to answer my questions. You know, I had them move goats in and out of line. They knew how to do that. Um, I tried to get the one gentleman um, not to move his goat so that I could see how they were going to react to that. But um, they outsmarted me on that one. So um, I guess when it comes down to it, um, for your um, overall champion challenge show today, I'm going to use the gentleman in the middle. Um, just when he answered his questions with me, he um, just had a little bit more confidence um, as he um, gave me those an answers. He was a little bit more short and so when he answered them. So he's going to be your champion challenge, but not to take anything away from the other exhibitors. We all did an excellent job. It was very, very